At the end of the day, one thing I say all the time around here is this is a people sport, so they come first. When it comes to buy-in, you know, I think I prescribe to something called like self-determination theory, the theory behind the basic psychological needs and how people are motivated. And really what that comes down to is you need to provide people with sort of three main ingredients. One of that is autonomy, which is that they have the control and they feel like they have some control of their directions. The other ingredients are competence. You know, you really want to have people feeling like they're good at what they do. And then finally, relatedness is the third ingredient to basic psychological needs. And that's creating an environment where people feel like the people around them have their genuine best interests at heart and really care about what they're doing. You know, in order to keep the team consistently motivated throughout the year, I like to turn our focus to not be overly results oriented. Actually, what I really want the team to be focused on is continual improvement and enjoying the process of improvement. That keeps you level, whether you have a good race or a bad race, you're always focused on what can we learn, how can we better next time. You know, it's interesting, when I started racing, I wouldn't say I was terribly focused on the, the people and culture side, and the more I've done this, the more I've realized that it really is about people.